it's widely known that during the first half of 2023, we had a lot of bad PC ports. Nearly all the most highly anticipated games launched with numerous issues and problems. And with this in mind, I believe that this is the right time to revisit some bad PC ports and see if they have been redeemed with new patches and updates. So in this video, I'll focus on titles that I have already covered on this channel and will compare the launch version of each game with the latest version and see if all these updates and patches fix the issues and improve performance. So without any further ado, let's find out. But before we start, today's video sponsor is Opera GX, a web browser optimized for gamers. With its slick design and customizable features, you can customize Opera GX with unique mods that can completely transform your browser with a single click, allowing you to modify nearly every aspect to your liking, including your wallpaper, background music, and sound. In addition to GX shaders, that allows you to apply various visual effects, which can help you create a unique and immersive environment while browsing the internet. Here in the channel, we often talk about how to optimize games performance, but what about optimizing your web browser? Well, with Opera's GX control, you can limit the CPU and the RAM usage to prevent your browser from slowing down your games and your system and enhance your performance. GX Corner is another unique feature of Opera GX that provides gamers with a hub for gaming news, deals, and it also features a calendar that lets upcoming game releases and events to stay up to date with the latest happenings in the gaming industry. To take full advantage of all these features, check out Opera GX and download it for free using my link in the description below. And big thanks to Opera GX for sponsoring this video. Let's kick off with Wolong Fallen Dynasty. This game launched in a very bad stage on PC. It was missing a shader pre-compiling step, which made the game a stutter fest, and triggering any new effect for the first time caused a stutter, as you can see here. The game also suffers from a very bad indirect lighting, which made all indoor areas look glowy and flat. And now with the newest update 1.07, unfortunately nothing changed. The shader compilation stutters are still here, and on top of that, the performance is similar to the launch version, so unfortunately no improvements at all for this one. Forspoken is another game that suffered from poor lighting at launch, and similar to Wolong, indirectly lit areas exhibited a significant amount of light leakage and glow. But with the newest patch, the game looks much better now, with improved lighting and ambient occlusion. Now on the performance side, I couldn't get access to the launch version, but I took this scene from my optimization guide video, and here in the same area, but with different weather and lighting, you can see that performance wise there is almost no difference. But again, it's not the same conditions, so this comparison should not be considered entirely reliable. Now moving on to a game that I covered a lot on this channel, which is The Last of Us Part 1. In the latest video for patch 1.0.4.1, we saw a significant improvement when using medium environment textures compared to the previous patch. Also there have been an improvement in the duration of building shaders, with a modest reduction of around 2 minutes and 50 seconds. But what about performance compared to the launch version? Well here in this CPU limited scene, there are some improvements. While the CPU usage is pretty much similar, the RAM and VRAM usage are much lower with the newest version, and the performance on average is better with greater 1% and 0.1% lows. And here in a GPU limited scene, same story, better RAM and VRAM usage, but the performance is identical between the two versions, with better 0.1% low with the newest patch. So here we can see that the newest patches for The Last of Us bring a lot of improvements, particularly to the CPU performance and RAM and VRAM usage, which made the game's performance smoother and more consistent compared to the launch version. Another game that I covered a lot on this channel is Hogwarts Legacy, and we discussed how March 8th patch broke ray tracing and caused visual glitches when using ray traced shadows or reflections, and provided no significant improvement to the performance. But last week Avalanche Software released a new patch that included various improvements and fixes. This latest patch resolved the ray tracing issue, and now both ray traced shadows and reflections shows no visual glitches. Regarding performance compared to the launch version, we can observe 
observe that in Hogsmeade, the initial stuttering problem unfortunately persists in both versions, resulting in a very bad 1% and 0.1% lows. However, the newest patch has significantly reduced the VRM usage, which has completely fixed the performance drops. Similarly, in Hogwarts, the stuttering issues still persist, but overall the game's performance is better with the latest patch, thanks to the reduced VRAM requirement. So here there are some improvements, but unfortunately the major issue of stuttering that has been present since launch is still not addressed, which is disappointing. Now before we wrap this up, let's take a look at two additional titles, Returnal and Dead Space. While both are not as problematic as other games, they suffered from the same issue which is reversal stuttering. So let's start with Returnal. This game at launch had frequent reversal stuttering, which became more pronounced when using ray tracing, and unfortunately with this newest patch, it seems like nothing changed. Stuttering is still here and using ray tracing still make things worse. Also the performance is almost similar between between the launch and updated version. So Returnal is another game that hasn't shown any improvements in performance or stability with the latest patches. And now for the final game, Dead Space. This one unfortunately is similar to Returnal. Even with the latest patch, the stuttering issue has not been fixed. Additionally, there is no noticeable difference in performance between the launch version and the latest patch. So overall, we can see that most problematic PC ports this year share a common issue of stuttering and inconsistent performance. While some games have seen improvements in certain areas with the newest patches, unfortunately stuttering remains a persistent problem. And it's really disappointing to see that even with the latest updates, many games have failed to address this issue. And this is really frustrating because it should be a top priority to fix any form of stuttering in order to ensure smoother and more enjoyable gaming experience and with that we arrive at the end thank you so much for watching and for your time if you enjoyed the video leave a like if not leave a dislike don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for any future videos and hopefully i'll see you in the next one